place is about freedom. This place is about coming to a place where you can create without worrying about anything that's on these outside walls and just being yourself. The idea of being creative um, is something that makes us human. When you look back on, on civilizations uh, from the past millennia, what is it that you remember about them? And usually it's, it's the artistic achievements that, that last uh, for centuries afterward. So much of our scholastics are on the left brain side with SAT and um, you know the vocabulary and the reading, the phonics and the phonetics. Now we're looking into, okay, what is really creating success for our kids after they graduate from high school, college, and into the work field? And it's the arts, it's the creativity. And you know, to get the hands dirty is, is great. And it's a great way to learn and to be able to have that done up there at the Bascom has just been a super partnership. I think the outreach program is invaluable to this community. I think um, once people view the Bascom, attend the Bascom, it's just magnificent. The facility itself is truly a masterpiece. So this is our uh, Circle of Friends group. It's a project of the International Friendship Center. The Bascom has been wonderful to allow us to participate here with them. I think it allows people an outlet uh, that they wouldn't get otherwise. So whether it be writing, whether it be art, I think it's fundamental to the development uh, of ourselves as individuals. The Gordon Center for Children offers a preschool and after school program for the community. Um, and the after school program is a free program to children and the Basco has a great outreach program. So children have the opportunity to be involved in art projects and just express themselves in art and learn art that maybe would never have the opportunity to do that. Any way that we can get involved in kids' lives, I absolutely think that that touches someone's heart. Through empty bowls, more people learn about fishes and loaves. So it's kind of a reciprocal thing, and in turn, as people know about fishes and loaves, they learn about the Bascom Center and what all that's doing. So it's a reciprocal relationship that has grown, but it has been a phenomenal success, uh, and we benefit each other simply by doing things together. There's a tremendous amount of benefit to the outreach, and we range all the way from young children right on up through the elderly. <laughs> and. Uh, and so consequently, we, we have a very broad spectrum of people that we reach. And uh, that's where the open studio model comes in, uh, here in the studio barn. And we have qualified people in here to help teach, otherwise known as creativity coaches. There's not a facility like this that offers that kind of programming uh, in this area. And that's very special for the Highlands community. This facility for me, uh, being a part of and helping making it grow, has been a very special thing. Um, and I, I have great passion for that touching the heart through art and it's fulfilling and it's it's bringing out something that can make one feel satisfied giving people an opportunity to have to have this is is just a fabulous thing that we can do but we can't do it without our outreach program there are different access points into the Bascom for depending on who you are how old you are where you come from and what your level of need is. All of these are partners of the Bascom. I want our patrons to know that because of their generosity in 2013, that this past year has been a year characterized by a lot of growth and success. In 2012, we estimated that our outreach program reached 440 people. In 2013, we more than doubled that. And in looking forward to 2014, with support, we're aiming to reach 1,400 people. These opportunities that we're providing are creating bridges between these people and the opportunities that they need. It's going into Macon County, it's going into Jackson County, it's crossing the plateau, it's going down to Frank, up to Franklin, it's going to Cashiers and beyond. I think it's uh, the epitome of being inclusive rather than exclusive. And uh, I think that's what the Bascom is all about. Uh, we try to touch everybody, whether they're students or the retirement community. The staff is amazing, and there's such enthusiasm, and the New Deal is a great deal. It is just really a wonderful new day here. I feel like it's almost a new beginning for the Bascom. Um, we have an enthusiastic, creative team, 
and we all work together, and I think that's what's making it so special. I absolutely love being here. Um, I get to do my favorite things, which are create artwork and work with the community. We make our programs available to everyone, um, old and young. Uh, we have scholarships available for those who can't afford classes. We really want to get everyone involved, and it is such a pleasure to come in and see people enjoying art and being creative. I can use my imagination. You can go anywhere you want in your imagination. It makes you go. The way the classes are structured, I think the variety that's being offered here is phenomenal. And all of the classes, to me, have um, really been a good part of our learning as far as homeschools. It's a wonderful place for people to gather. It's a wonderful place to come and enjoy the arts. In any one of these spaces, you're going to find something absolutely phenomenal. I like to think of it more as once I came here, the Bascom put their arms around me instead of me putting my arms around the Bascom. And so if you uh, look around your world with artist's eyes, I think you'll see a lot more. What about if we see with artist's eyes the hurt that's around us, the needs that are around us? We start looking at the world a little more carefully, uh, and I think that's a, a blessed thing as well. So we're all blessed, I think, when we support the arts, everybody in the community. We're fortunate to have this great facility and all the equipment and supplies uh, that you can need to make real art. We're enriching a lot of lives that are lacking enrichment elsewhere and we bring it to them. We bring it.